she is. Yeah. Really yummy breakfast. Good morning, banana babes. It is 4.45 and it is so beautiful out here that I'm gonna go for a run. I'll see you guys soon. Just a pretty crazy amazing fruit. It's so dense. It's kind of like, I don't want to use this example, but condensed milk. Let's just say condensed soy milk. Yeah, so the texture. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Hey, what are you doing to my food? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it well. Oh, I'm going to get into that. They call it egg fruit because it's like hard boiled egg. But this one. Thank goodness it does not taste like that. Yeah. Okay, banana babes, I'm gonna make my BG Snackers smoothie today. I'm not gonna put in the soy milk, which is usually vanilla soy milk or vanilla almond milk. Vanilla almond milk, if that's a thing. Vanilla, like non-dairy milk, whatever you wanna use. Um, dates and PB2 or just this peanut butter powder, which is like 90% less fat. Banana, one or two bananas. Um, vanilla stevia drops, which are really, really nice. And what you do is you just pick the dates, you put in some of this, some of this, some of this, and you blend it up and it is really yummy breakfast. So we were talking about hydration before, why it's so important and you know how you can tell when you're dehydrated. So it, it's really, really important, okay, because our bodies are made up of over 75% water. So if we're going to restrict the amount of water that we're taking in, then we're going to have problems in our body. In the, like in the kind of environment that we live in now, it is sucking water out of us all the time. Wearing clothing, um, sleeping under a sheet at night, being in pollution, um, eating cooked foods, all of these things are sucking water from our bodies that we need to replace. And if you're not replacing it, you're gonna get symptoms like, I remember when I was in Athens, in Greece, and I was at um, one of the ancient ruins, and I was so, so dehydrated. I was heat stroked. I actually ended up trying to sleep on one of the ruins. And this guard came along and he's like, just in Greek. I couldn't understand him, but he was just like yelling at me. And I'm like, whoa, what's happening? I was just so, like, I didn't know what was happening because I was so dehydrated. My brain wasn't functioning properly. So I went home and I just passed out. And that's what the body is going to do. The brain is going to make you rest or sleep to conserve energy and to ultimately conserve water as well. So it's important, like if you're ever feeling really tired and you've been eating enough, um, definitely check your hydration levels. Make sure that you're peeing clear or you know relatively clear about 10 times a day. That's a good way to check. And just, just check with your energy levels. If your energy levels aren't good, that's probably, that's a good sign that you could be dehydrated. It might be something else, but it's something to look at as well. So. Get in the water, get nice clean water into your cells. I like to blend up the dates with water first before I add the banana because you have to blend this on high for like a minute. But if you add the banana, it's gonna be bitter. Okay, so when you, when you blend bananas, they should always be pulse blended or else they oxidize too fast and they become bitter and the flavor is just not that nice. Put a couple of squirts of our old mate stevia vanilla flavor. Get some water. We got today. <laughs> We're authentic, and we've been crunching on these already. Chips. <laughs> and we got pizza. Pizza base. And pizza base. So this is like this is like a salad, bruh. Just salad, no. Yeah. No patty or anything like that. Yeah. Salad with like almond hummus. So good. Yeah. This is racha and this is like a sprouted lentil patty. All right, so Vertical Addiction is about to try these. Like corn chips. Yeah, some nachos. Yeah, get into them. Let's see how big my mouth is. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. 
Crispy? Mmm. That sound crispy. Oh, these wow. Are... Mmm. Mm. Good. Cheers. Cheers. Such haunting sounds. I actually love that song and it was made by my friend Brian and his group Go For Hope. And he's actually releasing an album today called This Can Be. And the songs are mainly pop songs with a positive message. And he is vegan. The lead singer is a vegan. Also the lyricist is vegan. And the album was mixed, mastered by a Grammy winning recording engineer from New York City. So I'm going to put a link in the description below to that song and to his album. So definitely cruise over there and support him. Give them some love and support and feedback on Facebook and Instagram because it's always awesome to support a fellow vegan. Hey, Banana Babes. Just got back from a run. Whew, that was good. And I was just thinking about all your like positive, supportive comments on my latest video about Robin. It is amazing. It is nothing short of amazing. Over a thousand comments of just love. Like, you banana babes are awesome. Seriously, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here over the years or whether you just started watching me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. It doesn't go unnoticed. Every one of your comments doesn't go unnoticed. So make sure you remember that, okay? I just, I'm so, so grateful. And it inspires me to bring more awesome content to you and to make it like just really stimulating and stuff you want to watch and you want to share and everything like that. So thanks for inspiring me in that way for sure. And I'm just, I'm so happy, I'm excited about life a lot right now. So I'm, I'm just really glad I can share it with you guys as well. You know, I've got this recipe series coming up. It's gonna be like once a week, a, raw to, a new raw to four recipe, and it's gonna be like really nice and professional. And I'm really excited about that. And also I'm thinking about like once a week and animation, because animations are like really easy to share. They're kind of shareable and you know, people enjoy them and a bit of fun, maybe like one minute long. So that's gonna be good, that's coming up and come live with me series. We're gonna get these YouTubers to live with me. There's gonna be one YouTuber who has a big influence, who's gonna live here, and they're gonna have a great experience. You watch, I'm gonna visualize that, I'm gonna make it happen. All right, stay tuned for the next video. I love you guys. Get those bananas in. <laughs>